All right, today on Free Field Training, we were talking about bullet safe body armor. And hopefully, this is the last time we're going to talk about bullet safe body armor for a while because I'm kind of getting sick of having to talk about it. So, Bullet Safe sent me a whole bunch of samples of their armor, and, and they claimed it was very comparable to other level 3A armor that's more expensive on the market, things that we've tested in the past. And I said, well, that would be great. I would love to have a cheaper product at $299 for a full coverage soft armor vest than more expensive products that I can recommend to people who are on a budget because a lot of people that watch my channel are on a budget and they're trying to save money and they're trying to get good equipment at a good price. So Bullet Safe sent me a bunch of vests, they sent me uh, some rifle plates and they sent me a couple of uh, level 3A ballistic shields. So the vests are a full covered soft armor vest, they're $299, they're made of polyethylene fiber which no one else makes on the market that's not a that's not a material that's very normal for soft armor vests and we realized why later on uh, and they sent the level three plates are a hard polyethylene plate and uh, those are a level three which stops it's supposed to stop 308 223 762 by 39 and lesser threats and their uh, ballistic shield is a, a large black ballistic shield with uh, no window in it so we decided we're going to do ballistics testing of all of them and we started off with the soft armor vest so i took the vest i put it up on the, the wood panel like we use for all of our armor testing so it's all kind of apples to apples and oranges to oranges and we shot it with 9 40 and 45 we did it live on the instagram live stream and on youtube i put them together and made a nice video so everybody could see it put it up and people watched as we shot it and 9 40 45 did just fine uh, as long as the rounds were spaced out 9 40 45 no problems at all. Uh, then I pulled out 357 SIG and loaded six rounds into it, assuming that 357 SIG gets in the 3A standard. There should be a healthy margin of safety. We're going to shoot it, see how many times it takes before it goes through. Put six rounds pretty close to each other. The second round of 357 SIG went through. At this time, I was a little upset. Uh, so we shot it with 44 mag 12 gauge slug to see what it would do and we started to notice that 44 mag and 12 gauge slug, sometimes it would stop it and sometimes it wouldn't, which was fairly upsetting. So we stopped it, started another live stream, and I was like, put it straight up on YouTube. Let's talk about the limits of this. And I thought I was gonna show, shoot it a few times with nine millimeters, gonna be fine, but if you step up to 357 mag, you're gonna have a problem. Well, that's not what happened. Uh, what ended up happening is I loaded a uh, high point C9 with uh, seven rounds of uh, nine millimeter, 115 grain ball, and we shot the vest, and I shot it very close to each other. Not any rounds touching, just close to each other. Well, well, here, I'll just, I'll splice it in here so you can see. All right, we are now live. We're doing the body armor test for bullet safe. We just shot the body armor test. And in the interest of everybody knowing that we're not gaming the tests, we're gonna show you a few things that we learned in the course of it. We shot with 9, 40, and 45, and it stopped that, but it had some issues with 44 mag and 12 gauge slug. Uh, also with 357 SIG, one of them hitting uh, right on top of each other like we've done with other vest tests. So I'm gonna show you uh, the high point C9, I've got three rounds loaded into this, but try to put them right on top of each other. The high points trigger not so good, so don't be too mean to me on the live stream. Now, I'm sure you saw the sand jumping up in the back. Three rounds from the high point C9, come on, Derek. Three rounds from the high point C9. One of them went through, went through the board, hit the sand in the back. They're close, but they're not right on top of each other. It's not like they're hitting one right on top of the other. Not the best result in the world, and not something that I would expect. I didn't expect it when we set it up and started shooting it. The third round, when suddenly I saw dust fly behind, I was I was pretty pissed, and. That's just, not, that's just not something that should happen with body armor at all, with, with a 3A level body armor at all. And we posted that live video, and of course, Bullet Safe contacted me and said, you know, well, that's not fair. And so their thing was, since we're shooting it multiple times, it's, it's ruining the integrity of the vest, which isn't something that I've ever noticed with any other armor and isn't how the NIJ standards are set up. So they asked for an apples to apples comparison uh, with other vests on the market. So I figured what vest would be better to do an apples to apples comparison with on the market than something else that's directly in their price range. So I asked around at work and somebody came through for me and they found me a level 2A, so this is the lowest level that's been made in like the last 20 years 
of soft body armor. This is a point blank, uh, level 2A. It doesn't have a date stamp. I tried really hard to find it. But judging by the construction and the general shape of the carrier and the panel inside, and the fact that the carrier is actually ripped from wear, I say someone wore this for a long time, and it's it's probably at least at least 15 years old because they haven't made this out of this this uh, rip stop material in quite a while. So we shot this. I put this up on the board same way, same high point C9, 115 grain, nine millimeter ball, standard pressure. Shot it again, and we'll I'll put it in here so you guys can see for yourselves what it did. That's it. Now that's a significant performance difference, I think everyone would agree, and that gives you an idea of why I'm a little concerned with, with Bullet Safe's armor. Uh, everything else is neither here nor there. Your chances of getting shot with 44 mag are fairly slim. Your chances of getting shot with 12 gauge slug multiple times, fairly slim. Uh, but someone, especially if you're in an armed a uh, professional position like a security guard or a cop or an armored car driver. It is not unusual for someone to take your gun, come up, hit you multiple times in the chest or the back with it, or to bring a gun and ambush, especially armored car drivers, just come up and ambush them in the chest or in the back and fire really close, multiple rounds, tight together. And I think a high point C9 is a pretty realistic concern in that price level and in the type of market where people are going to be buying a $300 vest and then using it at work. A couple other things to know about the 3A vest from Bullet Safe. Beyond that, it's made out of a material no one else has made it out of, and it's pretty much the cheapest soft armor vest you can get on the market. Uh, there are panels in the front for hard rifle plates, and they sell hard rifle plates. We'll talk about those in a second. Uh, front and back for hard rifle plates. Uh, it says it's mesh lined, but it's only on the back panel. So the front panel, not mesh lined. So in pictures, that you see of this, it looks like it's got a mesh lining. It's just the back, it's not the front. It does go all the way down the back, so it's the entire back panel, but it's it's not, the front panel isn't mesh lined at all. So in those pockets, you can put a level three polyethylene plate. Bullet Safe also sent me a couple of those. We shot that, a 308, single round, did just fine. Uh, 223, a 55 grain ball, did just fine. M193, we shot it with, did just fine. Uh, M855 did go through. So we put it in front of one of their plate, their vests. So since these are sold together, it makes sense. We'll put them in front of them. We'll see what type of performance we get. When we take a level three plate, we put it in one of their vests and shoot it. And then it stopped MA-55. It went through the plate, but got stopped. All the spall coming out the back got stopped by their vest. So the level three plates, while not a level three plus, that will stop the higher end 223 rounds. Uh, even though those are the most common rounds available on the market, there's lots of companies that are making plates that won't stop higher end 223 rounds like MA55 and M193. When you put it in front of one of their level 3A vests, the way they suggest wearing them, 
still works. Uh, their ballistic shields do not have a viewport, and in that price range I wouldn't expect them to, but they are very protective. So their level 3A ballistic shields, uh, 9, 40, 45, as many rounds as we could throw at it, uh, 357 SIG, as many rounds as we could throw at it, as tight as I could get the rounds to land, 12 gauge slug, all of that did just fine. We had to go outside the parameters of level 3A to get the ballistic shield to fail. I'm pretty sure it was a, like a three quarter ounce, all copper, three inch slug or something crazy like that that somebody had at the range that day. We're like, what can we put through a 12 gauge shotgun that will finally go through this? And with that, we finally got to go through, but it's not a realistic threat on the streets. We just wanted to see where it would eventually break. So that's our take on bullet safes armor. Uh, the pluses, the minuses are our concerns with this armor that we think you need to know about so you can make an educated decision about what you buy and what you budget for and whether the things that you're getting or not getting are worth it to you. Uh, we've got more armor videos coming in the future. I've got lots of other manufacturers who are constantly asking me to test their armor and bring it to you on the channel. So look forward to that. Please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on ar other armor videos if you like hearing the truth about products, especially safety products that are coming out of the market. Until next week, you guys be safe and take care of each other. Hey, thanks for watching Free Field Training on YouTube. While you're here, check out one of our other videos or head on over to the Patreon and see how you can get your name put on your videos like these fine folks over here. All the links are in the description, of course. We'll see you guys next time.